Here's a Westinghouse model H56P34A from 1956. Some references I've seen online call this a 1957 model, but uh, based on Westinghouse's model numbering scheme, this is a 1956 model. If I'm wrong, uh, feel free to let me know. Anyway, 1956 was uh, really one of the last years for two portables like this one. Transistor sets uh, were superior to these things in basically every way by 1957. This thing's pretty heavy. It weighs about two pounds. Part of that is due to the uh, you know extra battery it needs to carry. I don't have an original uh, 67 volt battery in here. I just have, I believe, uh, seven 9 volt batteries and uh, one D cell. The set was sold to me as restored. The uh, person who did that didn't really do a very good job, though. All they did was uh, replace the filter capacitor in there with one of the wrong voltage. It's, it's a, you know, 67 volt uh, circuit and they used a 50 volt capacitor so that probably would not last for very long I replaced that with the uh, appropriate part and uh, that's all I've done to this set oh besides um, redoing the way that the 9 volt battery holders were set up I was worried that they would you know short out against uh, the metal chassis or each other it wasn't really well done previously but I straightened that out as well the set's pretty sensitive, uh, especially at night, although I'm recording this video during the daytime, so you won't be able to see the full station picking up power of this set. It's definitely better than a lot of uh, 1956 model transistor sets. That's really about the one thing you can uh, say for this set. some level, there's some truth to them. What it also means, if you just think about from a problem... ESPN Radio. We'll be back with... Freak. Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people... starts distorting at a fairly low volume level. The switch on the side here is a battery saver switch, which kind of reduces the sound quality even further. It's designed to, you know, cut down the consumption of the uh, B battery, which was and is pretty expensive. That was another major downside of these sets, and why, uh, for example, the Zenith Royal 500 had a sticker on the back saying, the set will pay for itself in a year. If you use uh, your portable radio a lot, you're going to be spending a ton of money on B batteries. I believe it's only good for like 10 hours at most. This set has a uh, unbreakable case according to Westinghouse. And this plastic is fairly durable. They used it on a bunch of their transistor sets. There we go. Here's the label. It was made in New Jersey. You can see how I've replaced the uh, 67 and a half volt battery there with a bunch of 9 volts, 7 of them. Those are just cheap, heavy-duty ones that came with the set. 9-volt batteries are pretty pricey, so uh, kind of got to get them as cheap as you can. And they won't last very long in this set. I don't really listen to it much, though. That's just a regular D-cell there. I 
there's that one capacitor I replaced there. It's just the uh, you know high voltage uh, filter cap. All the other capacitors in this set are disc capacitors, which seems to be standard for tube portables. At least the ones I've worked on, they've had just one electrolytic and then maybe one paper cap, and then everything else was just ceramic discs, which is nice because those caps uh, you know, last a very long time. None of them needed replacing. It's got some corrosion from uh, a leaking D cell there, but at least it didn't ruin the label. Or uh, damage the chassis too badly. You can't really see these tubes light up except in a dark room. You won't be able to see anything now since I have the uh, light on in here. They use relatively little power for tubes. Somewhat surprisingly, for 1957. They didn't use any sub-miniature tubes in the set. These are all the miniature style. Emerson's uh, little tube portable, the Model 747, used uh, all sub-miniature tubes, which cuts the power consumption down even further. One last thing before I stop the video. Here's the uh, original case that came with it. Only the little tab here and the strap were actually made of leather. The rest is that crappy uh, cardboard coated vinyl that you often see on uh, 50's quote leather cases. It's very brittle. You can see it cracked there. So I'm not going to open it. But uh, at least I have it. Well. Thanks for watching.